वेलकम टू रा ऑनलाइन गुड मॉर्निंग टूडेज टॉपिक इज एप्लाई इन प्रेगनेंसी और एंटी फॉस्फोलिपिड एंटीबॉडी सिंड्रोम इन प्रेगनेंसी ओके सो द डायग्नोसिस ऑफ एप्ला रिक्वायर्स टू डिस्टिंग एलिमेंट्स द करेक्ट क्लिनिकल स्टेजिंग एंड द कन्फर्मेटरी सीरोलॉजिकल टेस्टिंग सो इट्स बोथ अ क्लिनिकल क्राइटेरिया एंड अ लैब क्राइटेरिया सो टू टू फोर परसेंट ऑफ हेल्थी प्रेगनेंट वुमेन कैन हैव दीज एंटी फॉस्फोलिपिड एंटीबॉडीज बट दे मे नॉट हैव एनी क्लिनिकल सिम्टम्स एंड रोटीन स्क्रीनिंग फॉर दीज एंटीबॉडीज इन प्रेगनेंट वुमेन इज नॉट टू बी डन and during pregnancy it is not even correct values which we get so usually these pre, uh, these investigations need to be done only in a setting of recurrent implantation failure or in cases of an infertility clinic so let us understand the pathogenic mechanisms in anti phospholipid antibody syndromes so these autoimmune anti phospholipid antibodies are of various types okay they can be anti beta 2 glycoprotein 1 antibody and this beta 2 glycoprotein anti 1 antibody is an in vivo anticoagulant so it prevents coagulation inside the human body and these uh, antibodies they bind to a glycoprotein called as beta 2 glycoprotein which is cardiolipin antigen which is present on the plasma membrane of the blood cells so if these uh, presence of these antibodies uh, leads to coagulation so there is in the presence of these uh, and if these antibodies are present the patient is predisposed to microcoagulation in the small vessels now these are another uh, pathways okay so this is an exin 5 this is another uh, procoagulant now what happens is if there is an absence of annexin 5 then also there is a increased predisposition for uh, thrombosis and microcoagulation so absence of annexin 5 is also indicated in thrombophilias in pregnancy just like a anti phospholipid antibody is indicated for thrombophilias in pregnancies now if there is an annexin 5 and anti phospholipid antibody present in the same individual there is a lot of uh, synergistic action and there is a formation of fibrin with the activation of the coagulation pathways and uh, this leads to a uh, procoagulant states now if the microvessels in the fetal maternal interface are clotted it leads to uh, recurrent implantation failure and there may be subclinical in, uh, abortions which the patient uh, re- realizes as uh, inability to conceive so she may be aborting even before she misses her period in the luteal phase because of these uh, microcoagulopathies and she might present as uh, inability to conceive or recurrent implantation failure or uh, miscarriages or preeclampsias or preterm labor so all the disorders of the fetal maternal interface or the great placental bed syndromes like intrauterine growth restrictions preeclampsias abruptio placenta recurrent implantation failure preterm labor and infertility can all be due to this 